What's going on guys, MME back here again today and we are back with another episode of the Madden 23 No Money Spent series. Today we have two big upgrades to add to the defense, but I think since we're adding two players to the defense, we might as well buy one for the offense. So without taking up any of your time, let's go ahead and get into the team, check it out and see what upgrades we really need. We actually have had two upgrades since the last episode. We got a headliners pack from one of the competitive passes and we actually got an 82 John Runyon. So we have one offensive lineman that's actually an elite. And we got Devontae Parker out of another pack from one of the competitive passes. But he only has like 79 speed, but he's like plus two speed over Ray Ray McLeod. So we went from a 78 goal to an 80 and I don't have any problem with that. On defense, these are where the brand new upgrades are coming in. So let's go ahead and get into the packs. And again, on offense, we do have an upgrade to make. So we finished the all Madden solos and you get an 86 Randy Moss out of position cornerback player. This is gonna be a huge, huge upgrade to our team 86 overall Randy Moss cornerback edition for the defensive back situation what we're gonna do is we're gonna move Desmond King to the CB1 so he'll cover the wide receiver too and then we're gonna put Randy Moss at CB2 so he'll be lined up across number one and then that allows us to move AD Legereus Sneed into the slot so it's looking pretty good uh, I still like Asante Samuel but as long as we have a bunch of players to rock out with that are high overall We'll put him as a backup. And so for the next big player, we actually have our next middle linebacker. We're going to go ahead and put in Zach Cunningham. So now that we have Zach Cunningham, he's got 83 speed, 86 excel, 74 strength, 82 tackle, 83 play rec with 85 block shading, 87 hit power, and 62 zone. Uh, but now that we have him, we can go ahead and put him in the lineup. So now maybe, just maybe, we'll play a little bit of better. Main thing is now we have 87 Randy Moss in the squad as well as 85 Zach Cunningham. So I guess let's go ahead and hit the auction house and see who we can get at tight end. One thing I wanted to say is that any packs that we accumulate from now to Saturday, we're gonna go ahead and hang on to because we will make a video Saturday and we are gonna buy a bundle Saturday. But uh, we'll make a no money spent video so that on Saturday, we'll open the packs that we have saved and maybe we'll have a chance at pulling a legend or something like that. Darren Waller, actually this is who I was looking for, so let's go ahead and check him out. 34,000, which is fine with me. 83 speed, 74 strength, 84 catching, 84 catching traffic with 83 spec, 86 short, 84 mid, 55 run blocking, so we can't really block with him, but 6-6. Six, six. I don't know why I'm always surprised by Darren Waller's height, but it's amazing that he's just this cheap this year. But I just want to see a speed difference. Okay, plus 9 speed over TJ Hawkinson, so definitely going to be a huge upgrade. But I like the way Gold Hawkinson plays. He plays like Elite Hawkinson. So finally trying out a new tight end, and it's going to be Darren Waller, who I have really never used in Madden ever. Since we made two upgrades on the defense, we'll make two as well on the offense. We just need one offensive lineman, somebody to make a bigger difference, uh, because right now we are struggling. It's Deion Dawkins right here, 6'5", 80 strength, 81 awareness, 81 pass blocking, with 76 run blocking, so a little low on that. But I really am not too worried about the run blocking in this game. I just don't want to get sacked every single play. We are going to rock out with this guy, but I just want to compare him to what we have. Okay, we have a 71, so this card is 10 overall is better. That's all I needed to see. 80 overall. Finally starting to see some elites on the offensive line. Definitely, definitely looking good. Darren Waller definitely to be hyped to use this guy. He might be very, very complimentary for Desmond Ritter. And then over on defense, we have Zach Cunningham in the lineup and then Randy Moss starting. The only thing left to do for us is win the game. Let's go. Coming out on defense, ooh, coming out an empty set right away. He's got Kyler Murray, so we know he's gonna be mobile or at least somewhat mobile, just as long as we don't let these people get open underneath. There we go, big sack, Derek Brown. Here we go, third and six at the 34. Let's see if we can get a sack right here or just make a, oh man, nobody underneath, but making the tag with Zach Cunningham. All right, well, I guess the one good thing is that he's not running the same play, so it's not like we're playing against a cheeser so far. Uh, let's see what we can do with Zach Cunning. Oh, he cooked me with McCaffrey. Damn, he cooked me. A legend's coming up this weekend. I'm excited. What do you guys think? Uh, who do you think we're going to get first? I know, I, I feel like it's got to be, it's got to be like a DB, right? What messes my, my predictions up is that the All Maddens come out or had already come out, so... Then it kind of is like, oh, who's going to be overdone and who's going to not have enough at this position? It's one of those things. As far as upgrades go, what are you guys thinking we should do? I, I know our corners aren't the strongest, so that might be one thing to look at. But also, then again, oh man, that was my zone. 
zone. That was my zone completely. Inside the 15 yard line at the 13 to be specific. Let's just hope he doesn't do anything crazy. I've got, oh man. I'll be honest with you guys right now. No money spent is tough. I feel like it's really, really hard to compete or that the matchmaking is just really bad. I really don't know, but, or maybe we're just bad and we need to pick it up. Maybe Darren Waller might be that key midfield at the 50 yard line it doesn't look like he's running uh much meta or if at all oh man bad throw by me but we still caught it what a great catch super super risky throw but i put all my eggs in the michael thomas slant basket and it it paid off i guess man i i really honestly just kind of high pass cheesed it but had oh there we go Devonte parker there we go free upgrade oh breaking tackles down excuse me for getting super excited it's really nice when my players are actually catching the ball and aren't just getting jumped by like 89 LeJerry Seed. And we're into the end zone. Let's go, Bryce Hall. Less than two minutes. Let's see how this guy plays when he has not a lot of time on the clock. I see Jamar Chase right here. So I put Tyndall to man him up. They should have like the same speed. Ooh, big hit him. Fight. No, dude, how do I lay a big hit this year? I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. That's really why I've been going back to the dive tackle this year. Because it seems like that's the only thing that works. Kyle Pitts is going to be wide open. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, well, he was wide open. So at least I can see the future, I guess. I'll give it to this guy. Eight for eight. He's absolutely destroying my defense. But again, no money spent defense. So what can you expect shout out to Legarius Sneed making a huge huge play right there now all we got to do is at least capitalize and get some points from it oh there we go high pass high pass jump up for it Bruh. oh there we go catch it and we still caught it let's go honestly that was a ton of cheese but I'm happy because I was spamming and I mean absolutely spamming the Y button so I was just hoping that we were going to get the animation and that's pass interference let's go bet pass interference at the 36 yard line he has no inside stuff so we're just going to rush the ball because if you remember we have an elite kicker so we should be able to make at least a 50 yarder totally i would be trying to strike and get seven right now but we do get the ball back at half because if you remember he took a whole first quarter uh to score so we know for sure that we get the ball back at half oh ooh, ooh, or we can score there we go bryce hall please don't flame me for calling him bryce hall it's just a natural habit Brees. Brees Hall, thank you for making such clutch plays. Please continue to block right here. We have stuff underneath, and that's a touchdown. That's so easy. Devontae Parker for six. Let's go. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, good return. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go get him, Zach Cunningham. He's almost out of juice, Zach. Oh, he went out of bounds. What a dummy. He thought I was going to catch him. I wasn't going to catch him. What an insane play. I can't believe that he ran out of bounds. I guess kudos to him for watching the clock, but still, he was going to outrun us. There's no way we were going to catch him, even if he tired out. Super upset that we gave up three, but very, very grateful that he didn't get the touchdown because honestly, I thought he was going to. But either way, thankfully, we got the touchdown because now we're still in the lead. Let's make some plays. There we go. Brees Hall once again just destroying his defense. It was leaning towards corners, but now that we have Randy Moss and it doesn't look like anybody's even trying to test him. Um, Go up and get that. There we go. Keyshawn, he made a huge play on it, though. Fourth and four. I think we should go for it. I really haven't seen much from this guy that tells me that he can stop me. Uh, and right now, there we go. He's not stopping me. Make a play. Wow. Darren Waller with the huge catch. He thought he picked it, but we caught it. Let's go. Expect him to make a big play like that. Uh, but God, honestly. Oh, there we go. Leaking. Another huge catch by Keyshawn Johnson down to the 21. For some reason on that fourth down play, I had Matt Stafford, the 68 overall, subbed in. Uh, so we almost made like the worst play. Oh man, that was just a horrible play right there. I've never ran it before, so I have no reason to believe that it'll work, but it might. No. Nope. Oh, what a drop. Testing out one of our new kickers or our new kicker and please don't block it. And he <laughs> just blocked my kick. Got it. insane. Oh man, at least he didn't return it. I don't believe what I just saw, man. That's the first person that's ever blocked my kick in this game or in like the past two years. What an... No, 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 no. Come on, tackle squad. Let's go. Either way, he needs a touchdown to take the lead. But gosh, if I end up losing by three, that's... Oh, I'm going to jump this. 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 Give me that. Ooh, tip drill to ourselves. That's a pick six. Eric Stokes, 87 speed. You are catching me. I am gone. And just like that, we are up two possessions. And Derek Brown is on fire. Whoa, we have Derek Brown and the 80 overall. Legereus Sneed X-Factor is activated. So I guess all we got to do... Oh, my God. He had somebody wide open, and he went to the covered guy. Covered guy and not the wide open guy. He thinks he's got me burned. Oh, I'm jumping that. Oh, what a catch. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. What a catch. Dude, Evan Ingram's unstoppable. Dude, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm going to have dreams of that guy running over my entire family. He ran over like five of my players 
Then on top of it, he got one of the sickest anime. Oh man, I, I just cannot get there with Zach Cunningham. Here we go, time to run some cover two. This is the only, only rare time that I'll run it with the no money spin team. Game there we go, over. Randy Moss finally showing up with a game ceiling interception. Let's go. Clutching out with two back-to-back -back interceptions. Randy Moss closing out the game. Insane game, absolute war down to the last quarter. Once our defense kicked in and our secondary started balling out, it was over. What was insane was we didn't really mention Zach Cunningham and we for sure didn't mention Randy Moss until literally the last play, the last two plays we mentioned both of them because we mentioned Zach Cunningham getting cooked and then Randy Moss jumping the receiver's route to go ahead and clinch the game. That was badass, perfect time to use your pick but all the credit goes to Randy. Eric Stokes, if y'all are wondering why I have Eric Stokes, that's why. And I, I do not understand why he chose to throw it versus taking the sack. I guess it's just reaction, but I, I played it and we got the tip drill and we clutched up a pick six and I'm loving this defense and I really don't know what upgrades you wanna see actually outside linebackers, but we might actually have to go ahead and move on from Eric Stokes just for zone coverage reasons so keep in mind what you guys want to see i'm seeing a bunch of you keeping up with the no money spin series so i'm glad i'm getting these videos out to you please drop some likes down below to continue the support so we can continue pushing them out uh, but again thank you guys so much for watching let me know what players you would like for us to add or what positions we should upgrade and we'll get to it other than that guys thank you so so much for watching my name is Mimi, and i'll see you guys in the next one